Hello everyone. Today I'm growing spinach hydroponically, Kretke style. I'm going to plant these spinach seeds from Burpee. These are called Salad Sensation Hybrid. According to the package, these are ready to harvest in 22 to 55 days. They will produce oval leaves and are delicious in a salad or smoothie or to garnish. They are perfect. I'm using one inch Rockwell cubes to plant these in as I normally do and I drop one seed down each hole. You should plant more than one seed in each hole in case they don't all germinate and then you thin them down to one healthy plant per cube but I really hate to thin plants which means snipping them basically killing them so I normally plant one per hole and hope for the best. Sometimes two drop in by mistake. I just leave it and see what happens. The Rockwell cubes need to be saturated with water first. They come out of the package dry, so soak them in water before using them. After I plant the seeds, I pinch the top a little to close the Rockwell over the seeds slightly. I'm not sure if that's important, it's just what I do. Then I let the Rockwell sit in a bowl with some water in it, just enough to keep the Rockwell saturated with the water, and I put a plastic bag over it to keep the humidity level high, sort of like a greenhouse. Here we are three weeks later, and you can see my seedlings have been growing nicely, and there are some roots coming out from the bottom. Spinach takes a lot longer to germinate than lettuce, so don't get discouraged if nothing pops up for a week or even two weeks. So now these are ready to be transplanted into their hydroponic homes. I like to use Grow Big Formula from Fox Farms. This is labeled 326 and it is specifically formulated for hydroponic use. They have another formula, 644, and that is for regular plants. So make sure to buy the right one, 326. It should say hydroponic plant food. I will leave a link for it in the description box below this video. It's very easy to mix. You just measure out two teaspoons into a gallon of water and shake. I use the RO water, that is reverse osmosis water. You can use any filtered water. I think filtered water is best, but if you don't have it, then give your tap water a try. But if you can use filtered water, then do that. This is a 32 ounce mason jar with a wide mouth. The three inch net cup fits perfectly into the wide mouth mason jars. You can use 16 ounce jars too, but you may need to fill them with water during the growing cycle. When I use 32 ounces, I will have almost enough for the entire growing cycle of the spinach plants. So I have three jars here set up ready for the spinach plants. You remember I originally planted four, but obviously one didn't make it. It never sprouted, so I have three plants. That's why they tell you to plant more than one seed in each hole. I fill the jars up with the Grow Big Hydroponic Solution until the bottom of each net cup. The roots are not so developed yet on each plant, so I want to make sure the rock wool stays nice and wet while the plants are growing. The water level will drop as the plant uses the water and the nutrients, and I let it drop as you will see soon. But for now, fill the water to touch the rock wool so it stays moist. I also fill in clay pebbles around the rock wool for two reasons. One, to fill in the gaps around the rock wheel so the light doesn't reach the water. And two, to give the rock wheel some stability in, in the neck cups since the neck cup is much bigger than the rock wheel. Are the clay pebbles really necessary? I'm not sure, but since I have them, I use them. It could be they serve no purpose, but this method has worked for me and there is no reason to change what I'm doing. Okay, these plants are now set up. Now we need to cover the jars with something to block out the light. Otherwise, algae will grow, and aside from being unsightly, they are also living organisms, so they steal nutrients away from the plant for their own purposes. You don't really want algae growing in the jars with your plants, so block out the light any way that you can. I use aluminum foil. It's cheap enough and easy to wrap around the jars. And here you have the plants under a grow light. The plants need six or more hours of sun every day according to the seed packet. If you use a grow light, make sure to have it as close to the plant as possible so it will grow short and stocky. You don't want it growing stringy and leggy. I have my lights on 16 hours a day and off for 8 hours. When the light source is far away from the plant, then the plant stretches up looking around for light and you end up with very leggy and stringy looking plants. 
Here we are at day 28 and the plants are starting to fill out a bit. The packet says it's ready to harvest anywhere from 22 to 55 days after planting, so we are at the beginning of that time frame at 28 days. Let's leave it to grow some more. Now we are at day 35 and the plants are filling out even more. Can you harvest them now? Yes, I think so, but there's not much to eat yet. Let's have a look at the roots and check the water level. You can see how nice and clean looking the roots are. No algae growing in there and the water level has dropped a bit but there is still plenty left. This light is a screw-in bulb. It's 6500 Kelvin and it screws easily into this fixture that clamps anywhere. So I have it clamped in a way to hang over the plants to provide them the light they need. Now it's day 40 and I think you can see the spinach plants have been filling out. You really can eat them now. In fact, I've been pulling off leaves and munching on them. Now it's day 46 and I have decided to let these grow longer just to see how they turn out. When I take a look at the roots and check the water level, I see I should add some more hydroponic solution, so I give them a bit more. Just be careful not to fill up too high. Leave a gap of an inch or two below the net cup. There has to be air space between the water and the bottom of the net cup or you will risk drowning the plant. The plant needs air and it puts out what are called air roots that feed in the gap area between the water level and the net cup. So don't fill the reservoir up too high. And now we are at day 52 and the spinach plants are very full and definitely ready for harvest. Here you can see them on day 56 and they are even fuller and really crying out to be harvested. So that ends it. We are going to harvest these and eat. I don't grow spinach as much as I grow lettuce, but it does add a different dimension to the salad. Different nutrients and the color is really beautiful. And to top it off, these are grown indoors in a bug-free, pesticide-free, organic environment. I hope you enjoyed watching this process. Give it a try for yourself and let me know how it turns out in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. Bye!